So we get people coming to us saying, hey, we really like what you're doing. It's a great concept. Love the thought of growing food to get to needy people in the community. Love that. I just don't have a place to do it. I don't have the equipment. Uh, how can I still be a part of the program? That's a great question, and, and there is a place for you to still be a part of the MILPA First Acre program. What I would suggest is go to your church groups, go to your community, go to farmers around that you think might have an interest, and ask them if you can help them do it. Uh, because they may have the land, they may have the equipment, but they may not have the time, they may not have the desire to do all the coordination, but maybe that's your job, maybe that's your role. So find a farmer, find somebody that's got the land area, it's got the equipment, strike up a partnership. One of the best things about MILPA is it builds community as well as it builds your soil. And you can do that by going out and finding farmers who would be interested and willing, finding the community groups to come in, the 4-H clubs, the FFA chapters, the, the Lions Club, whatever it may be, get them involved. Maybe your role, maybe you're called to be the coordinator of something like this. And you can easily do that even if you don't have the ground or you don't have the equipment. And then once you kind of pull that little coalition together, you can still be the one that orders the seed and gets it shipped to you and, and coordinate all that. Uh, so somebody has to take charge and do that. So that might be the calling that's upon you uh, as you're part of the MILPA First Acre program.